The idea that Californians would ever bail out New Yorkers or vice versa is something that would never be discussed in American context. That Germans would willingly transfer money to not just to Greeks but really to anybody else in the European Union is in some sense much greater integration than the U.S. has ever had. My name is Anka Hassel. I'm a professor of public policy at the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin. I'm a convener for one of the panels, the panel on political economy, and I'm co-convening together with my colleague Mark Hallerberg, who's also at the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin. We have people from different countries who are involved in this to be sure that it's not just German academics or British academics. Uh, having said that, I think one strength of this symposium is that there is an, really a dialogue that will be created between academics based in both countries. Well, in our field, the political economy, obviously the current discussion is very much on the sovereign debt crisis and the euro crisis. Uh, right now, it just jumps from crisis to crisis. There's not a vision. And so if we talk about the grand scope of Europe, I think we need to think about what sort of Europe do we want? How do we want to get there? And uh, how are we going to get there? What is lacking is really a more fundamental discussion about how economic institutions, economic policies and political institutions interact in Europe and how we can move this interaction forward. Because obviously the European economy is at a crisis point and at a turning point and we need new ways of dealing with that. Lord Ralf Darendorf edited a book in 1981 on the European economy. This book was really a reaction to the economic crisis of the 1970s, so everyone at the time thought Europe was dead, really, as a political entity, but also as a European economy. And what you can see is just a couple of years after this book was published, a whole new movement of uh, political decisions on European economic integration, but then also on European political integrations were adopted. If we take this, this moment now as a moment to reflect on the longer historical process of European integration, what we can see is really that the future often unfolds very differently from the analysis that is discussed at the moment, if you see what I mean. I would make the plea we need to get away from this very pessimistic, very gloomy debate as if that is a reflection on how Europe as an entity will develop over the ne next two decades or so. Brazil has, as it turns out, 27 states, just like the European Union. There were a series of banking crises in the late 1990s. Uh, there were a series of state governments that went bankrupt. They introduced reforms that very much centralized the way that fiscal policy is made. They introduced a lot of monitoring. Uh, there are independent bodies in each of the states that checks monthly what it is that the states are doing. It's very intrusive. But they decided they wanted to keep things together. It was endangering the very existence of the country and they made these sorts of reforms. So you have to go one of two ways. One is indeed more fiscal federalism, which would be a stronger Brussels, a stronger sort of central state if you like. The alternative is, in some sense is the U.S. The U.S. has other problems, but one problem that Obama doesn't have is how is he going to pay for a bailout of California. This may be an occasion where European integration, in some sense, will, to have a stronger Europe, you need to take a step back. You need to allow states to fail on their own. I, th I think both options are possible. I would say it has to be either or. You either have to do one or the other. Right now they're stuck in an in-between phase, and they need to find themselves in one or the other. They need to find themselves in the Brazilian case where, okay, it's not credible, so we essentially take over. So you can't do that. That's what happened in Brazil. Or you do the other, you take the American case and you say, fine. If you have a problem, you deal with it. It's your people who suffer. Uh, you, but you can't stay where you are now.